the BBC's New Delhi office has been raided by the Indian Income Tax Department. Hello everybody, there are a lot of opinions and debates around, hey, this is legal, this is all about Modi's government's planned attack on the BBC, well, this is also about the international media trying to attack Modi's image, there are different kinds of opinions, debates floating around. But as a business student, as an aspiring entrepreneur, you need to be looking at what are the fundamental allegations against BBC, what are the laws of the land and also what is the business model of BBC to understand what is the pilot, what is the probability that BBC is committing these kind of tax frauds. So in this video, we are going to talk through these things and hopefully you will make a much more informed decision or an build an informed opinion around this topic. So let's get started with the primary thing, the allegation. The allegation on BBC by the income tax department is that, hey, it is basically having some kind of international taxation issues specifically related to transfer pricing. Now, what is transfer pricing? Let's start by understanding that BBC UK and BBC India are two separate companies. Now, imagine if BBC India by selling subscription services within India is making 100 rupees of revenues. And BBC UK is basically providing technology support, reporting support, training support, all these kind of things to BBC India. So what BBC India does is, hey, we are not generating any kind of profit. All the costs are coming from BBC UK. So we are transferring that 100 rupees to the UK and essentially our profit is zero. So no taxing in India. Now, if this is true, this is true. Nobody can say against it. But the problem is that there is an ulterior motive potentially why companies can do these things. The reason the tax rate in India is close to 37 to 40%. The corporate tax rate and in UK it is 23%. So if you avoid paying taxes in India and if you pay taxes in UK, you are saving roughly 14%. 14 pounds on every single 100 pounds that they are earning is a lot of money. Then the question is, if they are really incurring all the costs in the UK, then government can do nothing, right? Every single company is being legit and they are basically incurring these costs. So nothing much anybody can do about it. However, there is a principle called as arm's length pricing. Now, what is arm's length pricing? Essentially, it means that, hey, if you are buying something from a different person, both the parties involved should not be related with each other or the entire decision is based on fair pricing principle. For example, you go into the market and buy one kg of tomatoes. You are giving the vendor 30 rupees. If the fair price of tomatoes is 30 rupees, that is fair, right? Nothing against it. But however, if you know that person and if you say that, hey, I have a other benefit. For example, I instead of paying 30 rupees for those tomatoes, I'll pay $3 million as the price for one kg of tomatoes so that I can avoid paying taxes on that $3 million. The other person would be happy to do so. And if both of you are related, then the chances of these kind of transactions happening are pretty high. If you pay 30 rupees, fair value, that is called as arm's length pricing principle. Right? If you are not paying 30 rupees, if you are paying more to avoid taxes or for any other kind of benefit, you are saying that you are not following arm's length pricing principle. And that is what government's allegations are all about. Income tax department is saying that they are transferring this 100 rupees as cost to the UK department, the UK BBC, but it is not about 100 rupees of cost. It could be only 30, 40 rupees of cost. They are just inflating the cost numbers so that they don't have to pay any kind of tax in India. That is the entire allegation and that is what transfer pricing means. I hope you do understand what transfer pricing means. If you have any questions around this, let me know and I'll try to explain in more clarity. Now, the question is, would BBC commit this kind of a tax fraud? For this, let's look into BBC's revenue models. 75% of BBC's revenues come from licensing fee. And what is licensing fee? It is every single UK citizen who is having a television at home Right? A color television versus black and white television, the licensing fees is different. But every single person who has a television at home, they are paying roughly 150 pounds to the BBC as a licensing fee. If they are watching live streaming from BBC or not, it could be a sport, it could be news, it could be live TV shows, so on and so forth. And why is that? Why do they need to pay to the BBC? Because it's a publicly funded organization, British public broadcasting corporation. It is not a private company where the company owners are maximizing for 
profits. For example, the transfer pricing scenario is very prevalent when the corporations are trying to maximize for the profits. In case of Microsoft 2012, they were having these allegations. They were facing these allegations from the US government that, hey, Microsoft is transferring a lot of money to Microsoft Puerto Rico for intellectual property rights and they are not paying the taxes in the US. That was the allegation and they had to pay a fine of up to $147 million. Google was also facing similar allegations from the French government where they had to pay roughly 500 million euros as fines. In these corporations, it makes sense because they are privately run organizations or there are shareholders for whom they are responsible and they are always working towards that generating profits. But in the BBC scenario, that profit maximization is not their number one objective. It's a publicly funded company. They get revenues anyways. And their objective is to basically provide that unbiased information to the public of UK and to the citizens around the world. That's it. That is their mandate. Revenue generation is the next step. Profit maximization is the next step for them. Now, understanding business model of BBC, would you believe that, hey, there is a high likelihood for them to commit these kind of tax frauds? The answer is, hey, it's very unlikely they would be doing these kind of tax frauds. It is not about profitability for them. If it's Microsoft or if it is Google, yes, we do understand because profitability is their main driver. Now, knowing this, what would you believe that, hey, the entire opinions that are floating around, which kind of opinion do you pick? Well, as long as a company is registered in India, they have to stick to the laws of the land within India. No questions asked. And if they are not sticking to the laws of the land in India, then they have to pay the penalties and they have to basically face this public wrath. However, since the likelihood of BBC doing that is pretty low, the entire international media is now pushing back on the Indian government, saying that they are killing the entire right to speech of the media. Because BBC has published a documentary in early January where they were criticizing Modi. Now the point is, is this the reason why the Indian government has gone ahead and conducted these raids on BBC? Well, nobody knows the answer. This is all about opinions. But before you create the, your own opinion, why don't you go look into these facts and then create an informed opinion. You let me know what you think. Take care guys. See you again. Bye bye.